thanks for joining me on this episode of uh, Genuine Diamonds in AR YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to change a fork to a spoon. The man, John Terrell, who owns the excavator and the dump truck and the dozer brought this by and he suggested instead of digging with the teeth now, I just dig with this. Sounds good to me. So, I've never done this before, but I think I can figure it out. I'm just going to slide this shroud over the end here. Sounds easy. It's real heavy. It took the, both of us to get it off of the pickup truck. We dropped it on the ground right here and I just swung the bucket around. And it makes sense I could just slide it on with this rock bar. Work it on a little at a time. And then you bolt it on. So, no, I've never done this before. And I've never seen it done. But surely we can figure it out. Just doesn't look like rocket science. But I think I need to pick up on it a little bit. That'll be enough. I don't know why it wasn't sliding on, but maybe now it'll go. Yep. I don't know what we're caught. <laughs> Imagine it'll go on any more than that. Just about as far as it'll go, and I see what bolt hole I want it in. He said he thought it went from the outside in, but I think it goes from the inside out. So take the bolts off and just bolt it on there. I've got the wrenches that are the right size, so it shouldn't be too hard from here on out. Really, that wasn't too hard. I guess if it slips on more after I go to digging, then I'll just move it to another bolt hole. For now, this, this looks like it could work. Maybe in a second I'll dip it up and put that down see if I can force it to go on anymore. See, it, it simply has this link. Oh boy, that's a rusty. I put uh, penetrating oil on this yesterday so it would loosen up these threads, but wow. I'll have to get a pair of channel locks. Anyway, I don't have that right here with me. 
overflow. We'll get this, but uh, he thought it would be better digging with the spoon instead of a fork, so we'll try it.